Good morning, micro followers. I wanted to jump on real quick and give you guys a video uh, with a little bit of information on an experience that I had a couple nights ago with my quail eggs. Now, keeping in mind, I am using the Nurture Right 360 incubator. Um, so it's got the solid bottom with the rotating tray in it versus like your styrofoam containers where they have the um, the egg turner, turner tray in there that just leans back and forth. This one actually turns in circles. Um, so the other night I couldn't sleep. I got up to get a drink of water and as I was coming through the kitchen, I heard like um, plastic gear grinding sound and it took me a minute to try and process what that sound could have possibly been. Well, as it turns out, it was a quail egg that was um, jammed in the incubator. So what, how this all started was when I was getting ready to load up the incubator, I was contemplating on whether I was going to put single eggs in there or if I was going to double them up because as you know, quail eggs are significantly smaller than chicken eggs. Um, and I watched several videos and I had an equal amount, there was a 50-50 of double them up in the tray and don't double them up in the tray. Nobody ever gave me a good reason why uh, one might have been better than the other. They said that if you double them up, there's a chance that the um, partnering egg may not turn as well as it's supposed to. Um, and then on the other hand, if you don't double them up, then you're just going to have to hope that the eggs that are sitting in line waiting for the incubator are still good and will actually hatch um, after they've sat through the entire process of the first batch hatching. So what had happened was um, it, the, tr the tray turned and one of the eggs got jammed and it ended up cracking the egg. And I don't know if y'all have smelled a rotten egg, but there's almost nothing worse on the entire face of the earth than a, an egg that's cracked open it's either gone bad rotten or a cracked open egg that's sat in 100 degrees for god only knows how long um it had been like that so i don't know if i put a cracked egg in there and then when the tray turned it popped it open or if the tray turning itself had popped it open but either way uh the liquid from the inside of the egg had seeped and it got all over the inside of the incubator and obviously the egg was not going to develop so I went ahead and discarded of it but um, I just wanted to share that with you guys if you are considering and I'll show you again just in case this is the first time you've tuned in if you are considering doubling up see how we've got two eggs in each little thing. Well, a couple of them only have one. If you're considering doubling up in your nurture right, I personally would advise against it only because it has been such a stressor, constantly eyeballing this thing, wondering if all the eggs are moving correctly. Like instead of rolling like they're supposed to every four hours, there are eggs that are going head over bottom, head over feet. I don't know if that's okay. Um, all I know is it's not originally how they're supposed to be moved. So, and then they actually will sit in an upright position for that four hours until the tray turns again. So given the experience that I had a few nights ago, I just wanted to jump on here and let you guys know if you're considering hatching out quail eggs in the Nurture Right 360, I highly suggest that you do it single eggs. I didn't have uh, the option to order just a few quail eggs. I had to go the full 50. They sent me 63. Uh, or 65, one of the two, I can't remember now. Um, so I already had an issue with having more eggs than I had incubator space. Um, <clears throat> but if you do have the opportunity to purchase your quail eggs in smaller quantities, don't order any more than however many sections you have in your incubator because it's, to me, in my opinion, it is just not worth the stress of having to eyeball everything, hoping that everything's turning right, chancing the possibility of something getting busted inside the incubator. We are two days away from shutdown. I was immediately concerned about bacteria being exposed to the rest of the eggs. And if you watched my uh, previous video, when I was getting ready to load the incubator, you'll remember how I talked about how thin the shells are. The membrane is super thick, but the shells are super thin. So when this egg popped in there and the most putrid smell came out when I tried to get the egg out of there, I immediately was concerned about bacteria and maybe um, some of the other eggs not hatching uh, because they were spoiling before they even had a chance. Or um, I'm still concerned about upper respiratory infections with the ones that do hatch here in several days. 
So my personal opinion, don't even do it. It's just not worth all the hassle. Put single eggs in each little department for each little egg. Just put one egg in there or get you another incubator. If you have a high quantity of eggs that you have to incubate and you're on a time limit maybe or a schedule that you have to have a certain amount by a certain time, it's worth not doubling up and just having another incubator. So hopefully that tip helps you out. That way you guys don't have to experience what I experienced. And as usual, if you haven't already, like, follow and subscribe. And I love you guys, and I'll see you next video.